Good morning, everyone. I just watched a great breakfast video by Lori Jean. She made a corned beef hash with a twist in a cast iron waffle maker. Uh, I don't have any corned beef hash, but I do have roast beef hash. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of stay as close to her recipe as I can where she added uh, her potatoes and corned beef hash, mixed it together with an egg to make the uh, waffles. And I'm basically going to make pancake patties out of mine, or just patties out of mine. A couple eggs on the side, about a half a teaspoon of Louisiana Slappy Mama seasoning mixed into the roast beef hash and egg, and uh, some onions for garnish. And uh, I'll throw it in my cast iron, we'll see how this turns out. Alright, so I've whisked one egg, I've emptied my can of roast beef hash into the bowl, I've got my diced up green onions here, uh, the top half will be for garnish later, and I'm going to go with half a teaspoon of my uh, Louisiana seasoning. Alright, I'm using uh, roasted garlic flavored olive oil for this. My cast iron pan has been preheating for about 10 minutes now, so everything should be nice and warm. So far, so good. Okay, so here they've been frying for about 3 minutes now. Um, I want them to get nice and crispy, so I'll, I'll probably let them go for another few minutes before I check to see how done they are on the bottom uh, before flipping them over. Now, if I think the canned variety of roast beef hash probably has a lot more moisture and fat in it, so it's, it's uh, preventing that egg from holding it together I think. Alright so after about 20 minutes of cooking on low I managed to get them all flipped with minimal damage. There was a little bit of uh, where they fell apart here. They didn't want to release from the cast iron. <clears throat> it's pretty well seasoned cast iron but not the best on the planet. It's my fault not the fault of the skillet. So I'm going to let these go probably for another 20 minutes or so and I might go ahead and cook the whole batch. It'll be invisible to you. At the end of the video, you'll see some uh, roast beef hash patties on a plate with some cooked eggs. So I'm going to get back to watching YouTube while I'm filming a video of me making breakfast to put on YouTube. This is like Inception, a video within a video within a, I don't know, maybe not Inception. Is that copyright infringement? I got to go. Okay, so I totally cheated and used uh, two of those egg rings to uh, go ahead and start my eggs and so they'd set and wind up nice and round. I'm going to put the lid back on, add a little bit of water, that way the steam will go ahead and finish cooking the tops. So I can have a uh, kind of an over easy egg without actually flipping it over. And now for a little bit of garnish, the uh, other end of the green onions. They're not staying, but that's okay. They'll get eaten all the same. So here's the final product. My uh, roast beef hash and egg patties with a couple of fried eggs on top and uh, the rest of the green onions as a garnish. So I gave it a brief taste. The uh, flavor's really pretty good. I mean... Uh, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be showing this video because I wouldn't want anyone to try to make this and think that uh, I steered them wrong. But it actually came out pretty good. The patties took a little bit longer than I thought to cook. Uh, probably closer to 15 minutes on each side. I was cooking at low heat though. And uh, I put a, a half a teaspoon of the uh, Cajun seasoning, the uh, Slap Your Mama seasoning in the patty mix. Not bad on the seasoning. Can always use a little bit of uh, extra hot sauce, which I'm going to go ahead and put on mine now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish my breakfast.